uh, one of the things that we're learning more and more about is how unpredictability, chaos, overt threat, significant exposure to violence changes your stress response system. Mm -hmm. And now there's a lot to that, but the, one, of the, one of the core problems with that is that if you're really, really tuned up and you have this continuous state of sort of fear that you're living with, when you go to school, even if it's a good school, you can't learn very well because parts of your brain that would normally be open for learning are shut down because your brain's saying, that's not that important right now. What's really important is who's connected to who, what's going on outside there, am I gonna get hurt? And so when I said rhythm, the reason I said rhythm is that anybody who feels dysregulated, if you move, if music, rhythmic conversation, relational connection, all these things quiet your stress response system and make you capable of learning. And so, You're saying that hip hop heals? Absolutely, I'm, okay. I'm, I am saying hip hop heals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am yeah. saying, <laughs> you can learn more lines of, you can learn more lines of text in rhythm than you can if it's straight prose. Mm. You know, they would tell me that they'd have these kids, they'd say, this kid's illiterate, he's got no cognitive issues and blah, 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 and he can't read. And then I'd start talking with him and he, I'd say, do you know any music? And he would, he'd, he'd spit out yeah. like 25 lines of rhyme and I'd go, there's nothing wrong with this kid's brain. Yeah. This yeah. kid hasn't been regulated <laughs> enough. He hasn't been taught the right way. Absolutely.